Here's just a quick add-on to the last video, uh, things I realized I should have talked about uh, uh, but didn't. Uh, so if we could look here, here's a project we did in the last video. Uh, we have our actor, uh, which is launched by our uh, uh, top level BI. Uh, remember that to go over it again, the, the actor is launched, we tell it to show its front panel, then we register to receive the my slide information, and we've created this little notifier loop to receive the information here. Uh, so let's run it. So the actor starts, uh, but if you look uh, here, the slide doesn't have any information in it until I actually move the slide. Um, this isn't good behavior. We want the information to be there uh, at the start as part of the initialization code. Uh, so to do that, uh, what we have here, if you see down here, we have the, when the slide changes, we send update slider to be one of the actions that is handled after the event. And we just can take that update slider event and we put it in the uh, self-initialize, the first event that automatically occurs when the actor starts. So we just put that here. And we can put a series of, of initialization code uh, in this initial actions uh, set here. So we save that, close. Let's launch it again. Let's close it once again. And, oops. Okay, we started here. We can show that here it's blank. And when we start up without doing anything, we get the initial message. Uh, so that's one thing I want to go through to show how to do uh, sort of the initial messages. And uh, okay, the second thing I want to talk about, let's just start this again, is how to do with more than one. This is a non reentrant BI, and we can only have one running at once. Uh, so, what if we wanted to have two of these actors running? Uh, on this one, it's very easy to have two actors because it's just basically two things twice. So, I'm just going to put this into a for loop. Give it a number of two, constant uh, to be fun, have three. Uh, this will currently not work because it's a non reentrant actor. It'll launch the first one, and when it tries to launch the second, it will time out trying to launch it because the uh, the VI is reserved. Uh, so to make it work, we have to change this VI to be non reentrant. Uh, but to do that, we actually have to change uh, its name because it dynamically dispatches off a parent class that has either a non reentrant actor NR or a reentrant actor or actor uh, class, uh, sorry, method. So we just change that, VI properties. Uh, change the execution to shared clone reentrant. Uh, say no to that. Uh, that will break it. And we got to rename the class. Oh, sorry, rename the, uh, the VI. Uh, just dropping the NR. And that will fix it because now it inherits off a dynamically dispatched shared reentrant class. Uh, so now we can close this. We run this guy. Now we got three. So we got one, two, three, and oops, let me get to the front. They're all being fed into the same uh, uh, control over here. And they should all actually work. Let's see, yeah, they all actually work. So that's how you do uh, non-reentrant uh, VIs. It's very easy to switch back and forth. And you can start with a non-reentrant VI, get it working uh, where it's slightly easier to debug. And then when you're more confident with it, you can switch it easily to shared reentrant and uh, have multiple of them. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.